Most people in life are looking at how do I make a life worth living and return with having. Most people know what that means. It means you focus on your own life, you plan your own life on a three to five year plan, and you work your plan for the year, day after day, week after week, and month after month, until the year is up. You then assess yourself to see whether you've achieved your goals, whether they be professional, personal, spiritual, emotional, intellectual, or sexual, or anything else that you might have for your personal and professional private life. And when you do that, you know you've achieved something. But when you interfere with other people's lives, when you commandeer their bodies, their hearts, their minds, their souls, you are liable to the Lord. And most people today don't give a shit about that anyway. They claim to be Christian, or they claim, like me, to be pagan. They don't mean they even profess to be atheist or agnostic, but the reality is they don't think about the afterlife. They don't think about the afterlife, and they don't think about how Jesus looks at them at night when they're out and about playing mischief, making mischief instead of magic, causing mayhem instead of, well, the Lord's love and light. You see, love and light is something that my dear friend Claudia taught me to say, and I love that phrase. It's amazing how it works for people, how you talk about the love of God and the light of the Lord shining through you to impact another person's life. But when you abuse someone, when you interfere with someone, when you destroy someone, when you literally ignore someone, you have not shown yourself well in the light of God. 